Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is just gonna be a bit of a check out of the Fortnum Mason um, food section. Um, just cause I've got a bit of time to kill. And I'm a bit peckish, so I might get a few bits. And um, yeah, I've not been here for a while, so I thought I'd see what they've got. And I think they've also got some coronation um, items still left over from the recent um, King Charles coronation. So yeah, let's check some of the items out. Oh, now those are Claire's, they're particularly gorgeous. They're like £5.80 though, which is a little bit pricey. And then you can have Becquerel's. Looks to be a selection box of seven with £17.95. And you can get a box of 20 for £42. Looks to be quite a few flavours. So this is my happy place. Not been here in a while, but I absolutely love the building. It's such a cool building. Obviously there's multiple floors. Now there's like beauty, homeware, food, drink, etc. And then obviously you can have afternoon tea here as well. So yeah, I might get a few bits. So these are some of the biscuit selections. This is my favourite, the pistachio and potted cream biscuits, which are again in the gorgeous turquoise tube. Probably get a few of those, I think. And then as you scroll around, you can see all the different um, types of biscuits. So you've got kind of cherry, you've got toffee. Again, you've got the pistachio. Looks like you've also got chocolate macadamia, Lucifer, and looks to be violet biscuits as well. So these are all tall tins that are £13.95. So this is just a wall of a lot of the uh, biscuit selections. Um, I'll link in the description bar below and also um, in the card in the corner. I did an unboxing, I think it was last year, and I got these um, chocolate biscuit selections, uh, which were pretty cool. Actually, no, I think it was these. I don't think I got the specific chocolate selection. I got the generic selection, which were really nice, and they're $24.95. So you've got kind of lemon curd, ginger stem, Chocolate pearl, macadamia, looks to be all 10.95. If you're interested in Fort Le Mason, I mean you're kind of a coffee lover and tea lover, um, I'd recommend coming here. Various friends get their tea from here. So there's quite a selection. You've got chamomile, oh, and bee pollen. These are silky bag infusions. You've got ginger and Sicilian lemon. These are all 9.95. And then it looks like there's ruibus and then you've got um, looks to be raspberry nettle leaf and rhubarb and then you've got elderflower and strawberry and rose so all look kind of cool you've got chamomile ooh, apple plum and cinnamon which is a bit different Again, if you like coffee, um, you've got, it's like Queen's Blend, which is tasting notes, blueberry, light jasmine, orange zest, and silky, Columbia and um, Ethiopia origin. And you kind of break down, you've got all the different types. So you've got this one, which is Anytime Blend, Piccadilly, and then it looks to be After Dinner Blend. And then if you want to, get your own little kind of named letter mug. And then you can see all the different coffees in the background, which is kind of cool. And then you've also got some other ground, looks to be ground coffee. I do like these uh, Bag for Life. I've got quite a few of them. And uh, they last quite a while. And I like the fact that you can just bring them back. It says if they're well worn, I'm glad we replaced them with a new one. It's always nice. I might bring back one of my ones that's pretty worn down and then you can obviously buy some books 
time for tea, if you're interested in tea. And then you've also got tea, if you're interested in tea, all the different blends. So we've got Smoky Earl Grey, that's 15 95 and it just gives you a breakdown of the origin, uh, what it's, you know, the fragrance, what it goes with. Perfect pairing, traditional shortbread biscuits. That's quite cool. You've got Courtesy, sorry, uh, Countess Grey. So it looks like you can do tea bags as well, which is quite cool. Or you can have loose leaf. I think these would be quite good as kind of gifts. If you know any friends, family that are kind of tea lovers, you might want to get them something, cute little boxes. So these are um, sugar tongs and they're $39.95. Again, little spoons, obviously a bit, a bit pricier. That looks to be £52. So it gives you a bit of a variety. Um, obviously I'm not really into tea or coffee, but I'll show you as much as I can because it is quite busy. So it looks like we've got some other um, quite cute tea tins actually. Moroccan mint, that's quite nice. Green tea, I love the packaging. Gunpowder green tea, oh, it's a bit interesting. And also you could kind of use the tins for other things as well. So again, we've got the um, breakfast blend. That seems to be quite popular. And then we've got green tea with elderflower. That's £10.95. And then with lemon. And again, it gives you the breakdown, which is quite cool. And then you've just got like walls and walls of tea. And then black tea with strawberry, that's 10.95 as well. And then black tea with vanilla, again with the same breakdown of notes. But um, yeah, quite a lot of choice. Seems to be more than normal. And then also we've got the, uh, looks to be the coronation of King Charles III. And this is pineapple and coconut infusion. So if you wanted to get something that's for the coronation, and then you've also got uh, organic, looks like Darjeeling tea, that's $19.95. So, yeah, and the Coronation pineapple and cocoa, it looked to be £12.95. And again, it gives you a bit of a breakdown of what it's perfectly paired with, which is quite nice. Now, this looks kind of cool. I mean, I'm not, not that big into teas, you can get a sparkling tea. So this one looks like it's fresh herbal citrus and then rosé sparkling tea which is described as complex herbal and floral. So yeah, a bit different, worth a try and it breaks down some of the information as well. If you wanted to try something a bit different. Now, I do love these marshmallows. I've had them before. Um, again, I'll link the uh, video where I bought a load. Um, I think it was last year. So it looks to be they've got the same again. Raspberry chocolate, toasted coconut, vanilla and strawberry. So you can just see. And then you've got like a selection of sweets in this section and a marzipan fudge not a big fan of fudge to be honest but these are seven pounds fifty per hundred grams if you like fudge now these hot chocolates i've actually not tried i'm really tempted to either get like kind of the um, kind of gift box which is at like 30 pounds so I can try all of them or to actually take the leap and get one of the big ones which are 22 pounds each so get the milk chocolate this is the salted caramel and then you've got the dark chocolate underneath 
looks to be 85% Colombian or 100% Colombian dark chocolate. Look to be all the same price. So I did try the Harrods um, oh, hot chocolate, but I, I wasn't that keen to be honest. It was really sugary and just powder. And I think from recollection, the Fortnum Mason are actually flaked chocolate. So we'll just have a look. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see. See what it's like. Might buy a selection, I think. But it's a good idea to get the kind of minis as well as a bit of a gift. And then if you like your kind of champagne, you can get little mini champagnes, which is quite cute. Get smoked salmon. Looks to be the champagnes around about 15 or 14 pounds. We've got cave age cheddar. Well, that's a big wedge, by me. That's £10.50. Then you've got Stilton, some more of the chilled, looks to be, yeah, the chilled tea. And some more champagne at the bottom. These look to be about £40. And then this one looks to be £53. Various pâtés. And then these are kind of the condiment section. So we've got a variety of different honeys, which I can't actually bring back into New Zealand um, due to kind of like uh, various protocols and things. But these look quite cool. Chipotle, smoked chipotle, chef's honey, cinnamon honey, vanilla honey, lots of different honey. And then lavender honey. I have actually tried lavender honey. And I wasn't a big fan, to be honest. Um, but you guys might like it. it. Looks like you can have honey gin if you like to drink gin and like honey. Looks to be thirty-five pounds. So maybe worth a try. If you like various vodka, the Sir Nigel's Marmalade Vodka. You can get a little mini one as well, that might be quite nice to try. That's uh, $13.95. And then you've got Mandarin Marmalade, looks to be various marmalades. Let's have a look at the other condiments. So it looks to be orange and Fortnum champagne marmalade. Then you've got Burlington breakfast marmalade. Orange and honey marmalade. Orange, lime and gin marmalade for £6.95. So we've got rose petal jelly for £9.95. Victoria Plum. We've got apple and cherry. Oh, licorice preserve. Not so keen on that. That's £6.25. Damson and claret. Oh, blackberry preserve. Blackcurrant and coffee preserve. That's a bit different. That's £6.95 as well. Lots of lemon curds. Looks to be passion fruit curd. Oh, I bet that's nice. Orange curd. Looks like cherry and chocolate curd. And then they also, in Fort and Mason, they do have like a little section where there's like reduced items. There's never usually a huge amount, and it's usually to do with kind of their sell by dates. But you've got here, this was $9.95 down to $4.95. That's mushroom pate. And then looks to be some tea that's reduced. Looks to be £37.50 down to £27.50. So something along here. Now these are also different sell by dates. So again, these were 6 25 down to 4 65 So if you want something a bit cheaper, again, these mustards. And just bear it in mind, it does say best before July. 2023 which is when I'm actually filming so um, it's not got a huge lifespan but um, shouldn't be too bad and then you've also got ooh, organic hot chocolate 
by the high grove that could be quite cool 745 which was um, originally 14 pounds 95 it's a 250 gram and then looks to be expiring oh third of october this year so it's actually not that old really could be worth something to get might get one of those and then there's also coffee that's reduced looks to be chocolates um a few other things so it's always worth coming to check it's usually in the far right hand corner as you come into Fortnum and mason so if you wanted to um check any of the kind of reduced items out you never know save a few pennies these are some other things you've got pitted green olives you've got some mixed nuts all seem to be around about seven or eight pounds oh baked baked truffle mixed nuts or oh, bet they're nice and then you've got some of the ketchups i really want to try the beetroot ketchup and this is basically fortnum's um, brown sauce kind of option and these are 6.95 tomato ketchup and then you've got various dressings so um, piccadilly dressing soy and ginger lemon caper tartar sauce truffle mayo which I totally want to try looks gorgeous regular mayo and then you've got creamed horseradish mint sauce all the different chutneys you can possibly think of my brother-in-law would probably like this chili and tomato jam probably a bit too spicy for me and then you've got various truffles now I absolutely love truffles and these are obviously um, black summer truffles so they're six, 16 pounds 95 or you can get a black truffle olive oil a white truffle olive oil which looks nice extra virgin balsamic syrup so yeah a bit of a selection these look quite nice be quite nice as gifts as well and then it looks like pick a lily cranberry sauce 5.95 what's that rose petal chutney mm, not so keen on that And then quite a few other chutneys. Another cranberry sauce. Ooh, caramelized onion marmalade. That looks quite nice. I think that's £5.95. So quite a few options. So if you go on the bottom section of the Piccadilly Port and Mason, you'll see like a little kind of mini grocers of all the things that Portland do. So it's quite nice. It's nowhere near as big as the Howard's Food Hall, but you can get a few bits, which is quite nice. I'm just gonna see what they've got because I'm actually quite hungry now. So let's see. Oh, there's some fresh things here. Oh look, Portuguese tarts, Rocky Road, £2.50 pistachio bites all brownie oh look at that pistachio brioche three pound fifty pumpkin pie three pounds oh, and then they've got like fresh breads oh, look at these breads they look really nice soda bread baguette sourdough porridge sourdough activated charcoal loaf social sourdough and then on this level you can also get some of the condiments as well so you don't have to go upstairs just gives you a bit of an option 
looks like we've got liquor as well. And then a few more of the teas, biscuits, looks like pasta. Oh, herbs and spices. These are quite cute little uh, jars. £3.95. Bit of a variety. And then there's also like fresh pasta. So you can get yourself some food for lunch. Oh, look at that. Spring mac and cheese. Individual salmon and fruit. Beef wellington. Oh, they look nice. Kievs. Scotch eggs and uh, Portland's sausage roll. I'm not a big fan of sausage rolls to be honest, but as Brits do like our beige food. A wild mushroom and truffle scotch egg. That looks quite nice. So they also do um, fresh salads. Look to be about £2.30 per 100 grams. Pasta, we've oh, got fresh salmon. Chimichurri steak. Oh, they look quite nice actually. And then looks to be some other kind of picky bits. So, if you've done the afternoon tea here at Fortnum Mason and you like their scones, you can come downstairs and buy them individually if you wanted to, if you wanted more to take away. They look to be about £1.65 each. And then you can get cheese for 150, and then baby fruit scones for one pound, and then larger ones for 165, and then you can get the little mini mini jams. So that's quite nice if you did like them in the afternoon tea. You can always get them individually. Oh my God! Look at the meats. Leg stands. Mm. Sorry if you're vegetarian. Anyone that's watching? All different meats. Cured. Gosh, lots of choice. And then at the bottom here, you've got a section which is like the smoked salmon. It's like a butcher section with cheeses. Oh, lots of cheeses. So it looks to be um, kefir. Organic dairy, cultured cream, Ooh, double cream. What if they've got any clotted cream? I can't see any clotted cream. But yeah, a bit of a variety. Cultured creams, £8.95. So there's all the different types of smoked salmon. Oh my gosh. Ooh, beetroot gravelax, nice. And you've got caviar, selection of caviar. I'm not a huge fan of caviar when I have tried it. Not really for me. Truffles. And then you've got some of their meats as well. Various kebabs. Marinades, you get sausages. Oh, some of these look quite nice. Venom chorizo, sweet chili sausages, cured streaky bacon. Ooh. So, yeah, I thought this um, video might be quite nice if you're interested in kind of the food and drink section of Fortnum Mason. Obviously, they've got multiple floors, but um, I thought for this video it'd be good to try and um, I like kind of the food and drink really so there's obviously a um, wine section here it's not massive but there's a bit of a selection so basically the food is on the bottom floor and then the one just above where you get all the condiments and biscuits and teas just above I hope you enjoyed this um, food Fortnum Mason video I thought it'd be a bit different to my previous videos just focusing on the food and drink in particular but if you're interested in subscribing, just click the subscription button below. And if you wanted to like the video, that'd be awesome. And comment below if um, there's any kind of food and drink that you always get at Fortnum Mason, if you like anything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.